Hello all, Serious Lee's here, finally back for some No Man's Sky, some fresh No Man's Sky content. We're going to start a new save. I thought the best way to jump into Waypoint would be with some super duper easy semi-permadeath. Let's see about doing that. We no longer have a permadeath option. We have to go to custom to make it. So we're going to do that. We're going to go to the preset permadeath. And then we are going to change it to uh, as easy as we can change it to still be permadeath selected. Some of these things, like if we, obviously, <laughs> if we change the death consequences, we won't be on permadeath. But if we change it to, if we want to change it to standard inventory stack limits, we can't, right? That would put it off of permadeath. So we're going to go with minimal technology damage. Absolutely. Oh, hey, we... I wonder if that's in 4.07 because there used to be, I thought, four levels of this and minimal was the lowest one. But if we can go no technology damage, that would be interesting too. Anyway, we'll stick with minimal for permadeath, even though previous permadeath used to be none. It'd be nice if we could go to that setting. Uh, scanner recharge. You know, I don't really actually care about any of this. We'll leave this on all of our standard permadeath stuff. It's really just technology damage I want to change, I think. I think. Let's look at our other stuff. Goods availability. I feel like the previous experience was standard. Uh, no, the previous experience would have been abundant, even on permadeath. But we're going to go with standard, which I think is the new discounted thing where they don't hold 4,000 oxygen in the space station anymore. They hold like 400. So we'll go with standard. That's challenging enough for me. Uh, we're not doing this to be challenging. We're doing this to race through the Artemis missions on permadeath mode. Uh, enemy strength standard. Yeah, that's fine by me on foot combat. What does this mean? Let's take a look. The frequency of such hostile creatures, sentinels and alien monstrosities. While exploring on foot, explorers may be confronted by hostile forces. Is that new? I mean, we could always run across sentinels, but not aggressive ones. Unless you're on an aggressive sentinel planet. We could never run across random monstrosities. What it, does, does this change? Doesn't say what the difference is between those. Space combat. Pirates. I mean, I, I expect them to be... You know what? We're just going to leave it what the default is for permadeath. I guess that's fine. Space combat. Oh, this is how frequently pirates attack you? This, instead of saying hostile, should say frequently or something like that. Frequent. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's confusing me here. So we're going to go to standard for both of those. That's fine by me. Uh, tutorial missions. Here's the debater. Here is the big, big, big debate. Uh, because none of these other things really matter. This is the big one. This will get rid of the whole first episode. <laughs> basically we're just going to be able to just launch straight into space and get started right away and i want to try this we're going to do multiple more seasons of semi permadeath so we're probably going to go back to uh, tutorial enabled because the challenging part or the really the most fun part of a permadeath save is getting to your ship in the first place so we're going to disable it this time we're going to do one more galaxy leap through the artemis missions with easy mode on I think we're on the easiest, basically, setting. We could go a little bit easier on some of this stuff. Uh, damage levels. We could go to standard. You know what? Let's do that. Let's Yeah, let's make this super duper duper easy. Lots of sprinting. Uh, natural reason. Oh, wow. I forgot they made this change, too. This is interesting. New to me. New to me. Uh, I think our next playthrough will do a standard permadeath run, including the tutorial. But this one, I want to go full easy mode. This is semi-permadeath. This is not challenging permadeath. Uh, survival difficulty. What does this affect? How quickly stuff is drained. Boop. We're still on permadeath mode. Technically. I think we're good to go. Let's confirm and start our game. 
This is the easiest possible permadeath technique. Clee, maybe not. We might have missed one or two full left sliders, but we'll we'll figure it out. Something interesting that I have noted, because I've done a test run of this off recording. Uh, that's why we're going to start in Galaxy, I think, 119 already. So we're headed to Galaxy 130. Galaxy 130. I have no idea what the name is going to be. We'll find out at the end of this series. We'll see what it is. I don't remember what the Galaxy of one, uh, the name of 119 is. Ta Tawani or something like that. Hey, why are we? Is the name of the system, the planet we started on. Is that an orange suit? Nice orange suit there. Okay, where is our ship? Uh, we don't have an analysis visor. See, I've, I've not done this before. I've not started. Uh, Starship is damaged. Okay, so... Okay, stuff is broken. I'm getting a bit of lag, and I can't make a save till we get to our ship, so we're just gonna have to deal with it, unfortunately. That's cobalts. That's cobalt. Where's our ferrite at? That's cave stuff. Give me ferrite. We only have so much carbon to work with here. I'm not mining anything there, am I? All right, that's enough to repair. Still no, I now, <laughs> yeah, that was dumb of me. We need carbon for that, I think, right? Yeah, carbon nanotubes. Um, there's some right there, mushrooms. I think we need a hundred for two carbon nanotubes. We're also going to need some carbon to recharge our mining beams, so let's just grab whatever we can get here. Seems like carbon isn't too hard to come by here, though, at least, which is good news. I bet these purple mushrooms are also carbon. Yeah, we got plenty of carbon. All right, let's get our analysis visor made. Oh, right, we got to make the carbon nanotubes. Uh, I think it's just one, actually, but we'll make two. We'll need another one for something eventually. There's our ship over the hill. I mean, we were facing that way. We probably could have just headed over there. far away are you? Oh, pretty far. So we should probably gather some dihydrogen. We're going to need fuel. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, there's some carbon for our mining beam, and I think that's not a super large crystal, so we can actually mine it. Yeah. Oh, that one is a large crystal. Okay. But these small ones around it should be Dense carbon. All right, good enough. Back to the ship. There's what we want: a hydrogen. Any crystals? No. Well, we can take some deuterium. And hey, maybe we can... I don't think we can get a backpack slot yet. I don't think we have the ferrite dust. 
to make uh, antimatter housing. Is that what we need? Yeah, one antimatter housing. Sodium nitrate we don't have at all, and a carbon nanotube we have. I mean, we could look for sodium nitrate. We could hit scan like that. There's some sodium. We could make a refiner. No Na plus crystals around, huh? No, we're not going to worry about it. We're on super easy mode. We don't need suit slots. Oh, okay. We do need dihydrogen, though. Oh, there are there's tons of carbon on this radioactive planet. Dihydrogen is also great for life support gel, I think, all right? You need dihydrogen jelly. Not that we really need to worry about that stuff. Everything is like, look, look how slowly we're taking damage. This is super easy mode. Ah, we still have to repair the ship. I forgot. Do we get any tech from this? Uh, no, I don't want that at all. Destroy. No, just nanites. All right, that's fine. Pure ferrite, dihydrogen jelly. So we are going to need to make a refiner after all. We need a metal plating and 30 oxygen. There should be some oxygen in this field somewhere. There's some right there. Okay. Now we need enough ferrite dust. That's going to be the hard part. There. That stuff's ferrite. Not just enough for the pure ferrite, but we need enough for the metal plating. Fortunately, we set this stuff to non-scarce levels, so we should get enough probably from that. Let's give it a try. Metal plating, we need a dihydrogen. We can go to the starship, put that in, I think. What does this need? Oh, a metal plating, let's put that in and we'll make another metal plating for ourselves. We also need a hermetic seal. Can we make one of those? We can, we just need the condensed carbon we spent. Uh, well, we have carbon, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's make a metal plating. Let's make a refiner. It's a good thing there's a lot of carbon on this planet. We are going to need it. Uh, yeah, that's not going to be enough for us, but let's get it started. Um, that's ferrite. That's ferrite. find a mushroomy area. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's get, with the fuel we have in there, let's get our pure ferry going instead. Oh, we don't have a lot of ferrite dust either. How much pure ferrite do we need? 50, we're gonna get 63, that's fine, we're, we're good. And it's done already anyway. Let's see. Mushrooms. Tubers. I feel like there were some down by that drop pod. So let's head back towards that. Oh, 
Oh, hey, there's a tech that we didn't grab over here either. Well, probably nanites. And look, tubers right by it. It's perfect. Just nanites. Okay, but well, we need the carbon. Lots of carbon. We probably need more ferrite too. We should just grab everything here. There was probably tubers right beside us where we were. Been pretty good about not overheating so far. Oh, let's overheat. Wow, we actually get a good amount of time before we overheat. All right, let's head back to our refiner and get stuff going. This is actually taking almost the same amount of time as normal anyway. The only difference here is gonna be that instead of getting to maybe the space station in a half hour, probably we're gonna get to the anomaly in a half hour and that'll get us to another galaxy. Where did our refine? Uh, okay, it just hadn't spawned in. Okay. Uh, regular carbon. That's what we need to put in. That's what we need to take out. Begin. We'll just wait for it. It's only nine seconds. We're probably going to need regular carbon any second, but we'll get some when we pick up the refiner. It's fine. Let's hop in the ship. Let's open the hotkey menu there. Go over to utilities. Go to starship view and make that a hotkey and press it because I don't want to be in the cockpit. There we go. We need a hermetic seal. Drop that in there. And we need our pure ferrite in here. And we're good to go. All right, acquire sodium nitrate for damaged, what? Electrode. Oh, that's for the drop pod. Yeah, 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 we're not doing the drop pod. Let's take off. There we go, into space. System officially discovered. Can we? We can, we can call the anomaly right away. Let's do that. But first, we are gonna visit the space station, which is marked. So I guess we're gonna call the anomaly in over there. I don't know why we're scanning this planet. It looks dead. Yeah, it literally dead planet. Mm -hmm. We're not sticking around to go visit Tetawar 18, Tetawar 18. I wonder if the first 17 Tetawars are also dead planets. All right, let's go see. If we can find out what the name of Galaxy 119 is. After we hear some awesome guitar music. is a safe game made. We have zero units and nothing to sell, so we're just gonna straight take off again. Because as much as we needed the 
save point on that plant, on that space station to get it into the teleporter list, we need to be on a planet for what we're doing. So we are going to Tet of War, apparently. Boom. Save game made on a planet surface. And we will, you know what? We need to do something else here. We need to make another hockey. We will be right back. <laughs> so we're going to go to our other save. Uh, mode slack, short thing. Yeah. Second normal mode. Should already be on the Space Anomaly, so we should just need to hop over to the teleporter and down to our base in the correct galaxy. And it's nice to see that we had access immediately to the Space Anomaly with our new character. That's a huge benefit of skipping the tutorial because instead of just having to get to the space station, you don't have to do a warp. You don't have to make warp fuel. You don't have to install a hyperdrive. I haven't checked. We might have a hyperdrive, I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. We're not gonna be in normal mode for long. We're just doing this to change us to the next galaxy. Well, the 119th galaxy. Uh, space station. I want my bases, there we go. Tor Wierf. Tor Vierf? Tor Vierf. No, we're not going to tour the Earth. We're just heading to this planet so that we can transfer our other save there. Super duper duper easy mode permadeath this time. So, the plan going forward is we're going to be doing this. And we're going to be doing a series on getting our pre-Waypoint saves updated to Waypoint. And we'll see how other things go. Of course, we're going to keep doing the weekend missions. Hop in ship. Hop out of ship. Quit to mode select. We'll go back to our new save that we haven't named yet. We're going to call it semi-permadeath. But let's get to a new galaxy first. on our dead planet. Got some textures on our suit. We're gonna go return to Space Anomaly. Now, that's gonna use the Space Anomaly in my other save. So we should get uh, welcome to Torvirf. Torvirf? Torvirf? I don't know. My pronunciation of weird letter combinations is not up to snuff. There you go. Torvire, first contact. The Sai City system. Say City? Alright, so we need to get over to a space station in this system here to really lock this thing into place.
Too close to pulse. Okay. Oh, we're in space. We got transmission. We may as well answer it. This is part of what we got to do. We'll identify ourselves. I don't understand. Who am I speaking to? All right, we got some coordinates and we are in Galaxy 119. That's great. Mission progressed and not in Euclid. Now let's lock this save in by getting a safe spot on the space station. go. Okay, that's pretty much all I wanted to accomplish today, so we're a little teeny bit ahead of schedule. Let's see what else we can do here. Let's take a peek at our ship. Do we have a hyperdrive? We don't have a hyperdrive, but we can install it. We just need chromatic metal and a microprocessor or five, so we're going to need some money. All right, let's take a peek at our discoveries. We have a bunch of planets here. We are in a opulent economy. That's great. Let's head up here and see what our nanites can buy us. I'm thinking exosuit upgrade. No, multi-tool upgrade might be better for making us money if we can get it cheap. We only have like 100. Oof, we don't even have 100 nanites. Got a 60-unit uh, C-class scanner upgrade, buddy. Scanner, it's 75. <laughs> All right, so much for that. Let's go out into space and scan some planets. Since we don't have a freighter, we can't do it all at once. Let's see where we can make some money at. Uh, we started on a Gamma Planet, so we just abandoned a Gamma Planet. Oh, that looks nice and lush. Lush Planet's Starbulb, okay. Lots of stuff behind the space station. Let's look. That looks like a volcanic moon. Uh, we're scanning the planet. That's the moon. Ashen moon, yeah the planet. That also looks volcanic. Imminent core detonation. Pyrite. Yeah, I think that might be volcanic. Or dead. Nah, it's, it's two volcanoes. Okay. Neat. Is that white grass? What's this? What's this? Ah, it's a desert. Ah, it's white sand. Pyrite's good. That's pulse fuel. Pyrite is pulse fuel. And we got lots of pyrite here. A desert and two volcanoes. What's this over here? Might be a glitch decoration planet. Yes, it is. Fractured moon. Uh, gold. That'll make us some money. Uh, but really what we need is copper for a chromatic metal and microprocessors and anything can make us money. We're going to go to the lush planet. That's where we're headed. We're going to pick up a nice peaceful exploring of a lush planet. I hope there's not super heated storms here. We're going to land and find out before we go today. Oh, from the sky, I see copper deposit. So let's land at that. It does not look very big, but maybe it's enough for our chromatic metal purposes. We don't have a terrain manipulator yet either, so we're probably going to need to make another uh, chromatic, not chromatic, uh, hermetic seal. Hermetic. Pleasant weather. That's great. Got a hazard plant. Oh, floating crystals. Can we get those yet without a uh, advanced mining beam? No, all right, we can't. That's unfortunate. That's not carbon. All right, that's it for today. Until next time, everybody. Have a good time. Ooh, a rainbow. Look, rainbow. Let's wave to the rainbow.
by Rainbow. I thought we made a hotkey for this already. Let's try again. Oh, we didn't make a save. <laughs> we made a hotkey after hopping out of our ship and then we exited the game. So, there we go. Hotkey made. Bye, everybody. Till next time. Have a good time. Ooh.